Hello, everybody, and welcome to, I believe, part 19 of The Evil Within. Yeah, I think. Wait a minute. Oh, no, this could be like last time. Let me just check quickly to see if this is, in fact, on. Come on, baby. Come on, my sweet, sweet internet. It's working. Okay. <laughs> Anybody like that? <laughs> Not at all interesting peek behind the scenes? I'm sure you did. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think this is part 19 of The Evil Within. Um, so I do mm, I have a couple of things that I wish to talk about about The Evil Within. Uh, largely because I'm kind of baffled. Um, I took a couple of days, you know, t like a couple day breather, because I, that last level made me kind of salty. I, perhaps I'm just an asshole guy, asshole douchebag video game purist, but, oh shit, there she goes. Um, to me, that last level... I don't know, man. It just didn't feel right. It felt wrong. Ooh, casualties. We're gonna be dropping like flies. Does this? Ooh, juice. Okay. So I uh, I went online. Uh, something I probably should have done, you know, before I started the game. But I wanted a largely unbiased opinion of the game. Um, like I wanted to genuinely create one from scratch, I knew that from the beginning I would probably not be, you know, all the way, you know, I wouldn't have an opinion formed that was largely correct. Um, I would have to create one organically as the game went on. And now I think I'm at that point when I went, when I'm just going, hmm, I don't know. And so I went online and I looked at some scores. Uh for the game. You know, you're... The, you know, the less... You know, trusted sites like your IGN and your GameSpot, but also like your Metacritic, all that kind of shit. And I found largely positive reviews, all in all, for The Evil Within. And it kind of... It kind of baffles me. Because I know very well that I'm a jaded asshole that does not really like anything, unless it's... You know, unless it suits my tastes exactly. But... I don't know. I... L let's, let's read this and then I'll go continue my tirade. <clears throat> Mira is gone. I haven't seen her in days. Went to report it, but they think I'm crazy. Her car, her computer, some of her belongings are gone. There's no sign of foul play. Everybody thinks that she left me. They keep talking about my drinking, as if it has something to do with Myra's disappearance. Except that they're not treating it as a disappearance. They look at me like I'm to blame for her leaving. But I know she didn't leave. Someone took her. She was getting too close to something. But what? Alright, that's... That is starting to sound extremely paranoid, Sebastian. I'm slowly... You know, as this game has gone on, I'm... Well, for the past couple of episodes, at least, I've been building a case that, uh... Sebastian was a, uh... An inmate at the asylum, uh, even when the game was beginning. It's been a while since your last visit. Now, it's been a couple of days, at most. And it's your fault. I left you, you didn't leave me. Whatever. <laughs> this game being not very good is not my fault. Anyway, so... I found largely, uh, positive reviews for this game. And I don't know if my my, like, lower opinion of this game isn't because... is perhaps just because I'm <clears throat> comparing it to other games that Shinji Mikami have done that have been much better. Um... Like, uh... Resident Evil 4, obviously, that's been my go-to one, but even games like uh, Shadows of the Damned, uh... 
the game with the silliest name, but actually pretty goddamn funny. Like, I liked it a lot. Um... I guess what I'm trying to say is, perhaps one of two things are possible. What, do you just want to jump? I mean, I'll jump if you want. I mean, I'll watch you jump if you if you want. Let's uh. Get, eh, fine. How does your how do your clothes stay so absolutely gorgeously clean? And I'm just I'm sure that my I'm sure that my shirt was white at the beginning of this game. Look, tie is perfectly tied. Son of a bitch. It's a, uh, an instance of who wore it better. The... <laughs> it's the vest off. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hello. Does this intrigue me enough to, uh, spend, like, 15 minutes of all of our time trying to get it open? No, it doesn't. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is... I am a jaded asshole, and I don't like this game. However, I don't know if other people do as well. So, is it that I'm even worse than I thought? Or... No, that's not the way. Or could it be that these video game review sites are less reputable than I gave them credit for. Now, perhaps that sounds like an excuse. Ooh, okay, here we go. Is that acid? Is it? Alright. I was supposed to be all along the watchtower. But after a, uh... <laughs> after one content ID debacle with a ringtone during uh, the Alien Isolation playthrough, I've decided <laughs> to do, uh... silly mouth versions of all, all our favorite songs. So, uh, yeah, that's why. Shit, what was I saying? Oh, right. Um... I mean, corruption in video game journalism has been getting a lot of attention, shall we say? Nah, I've only got one of those. I'm... I'll we heal later. Oh, okay, so the barbed wire on the doors is just an inexplicable way for me to, uh, for them to tell me that you can't go in here. This is not an explorable area. It's like an invisible wall, but it's not invisible. Jesus. What could cause this much damage? Oh, please be like... This game doesn't... Just throws monsters at us with absolutely no context. So can we just get, like, a huge Cloverfield thing going on? I would love that. Let's just concentrate on getting out of here. Why did I go straight to Cloverfield? I could have just said Godzilla. Gojira. You know what? I think it's because I like Godzilla. Uh, all right. Exhibit A, do your thing. So, I, I don't know. I think I'm planning on at the end of each of my game playthroughs. <clears throat> that didn't surprise me at all. I think I'm actually going to like give a game. I, I'm not going to say I want to give a game a score, because that I don't want to do that. There's a couple of things that I don't want to ever do. I don't want to give any game a, uh, a number score. I, I absolutely will not do that. And I will not, um, at least for the time being, I will not create thumbnails for my videos on YouTube. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I um, <clears throat> The, uh, like, a video, or like, a picture of something from the Evil Within, and oh, not you again. 
Oh, whatever. I'm not even going to be surprised anymore. Um, like a picture of, like, something that happens from the evil within, and then a picture of, like, my face, but me making a crazy facial expression. And then, like, something in all caps. Uh, I'll, I'll name a video something in all caps, but only if it's worth it. I, yeah, I'm just... I don't know. It could be... Holy shit! It could be because it's some deep, deep, dark part of me. I'm... I'm a bit of a hipster. Even though, if someone ever said that to me, I would probably just reel back and punch them straight in the noggin. Um... But I absolutely won't do that. I would like... I want to... somehow set myself apart. And so far, the way I've been doing that is telling myself that at least in some small way, our conversations that we've been having with all my... F with you friends and all, are largely more intelligent than in other... Let's play. Z I'm attempting not to make any... Uh! <clears throat> that will be stricken from the record. I'm attempting not to make any enemies right now. Um... Oh god, not you. Wait. Oh no. It's fake Rubik. Oh no. Did that just go well? Oh no, it's not over. <sighs> okay. Did that just go well? Now I can say it. Ah, shit. The last time I fought one of these, I won by axe. Oh god! Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the last time I fought one of those, I won by accident. I was setting a dude on fire, and he just ran up and, you know, was engulfed in the flames. So I'm not- I don't actually know how to deal with one of those guys. <clears throat> so, um... What I've been trying to say is... I would give the Eve Within, um... Let's- let's go with Metacritic. That's the one that I- that's the, uh, that's the site that I went to most recently. And they gave the Evil Within a 75 out of 100. Um, and after playing this game, and especially that last level, I don't, I don't know if I would go that high. So, is it? Not this time. Taking you all wanted that. You can go over the tripwire this time. There we go. Hmm. Hmm, is it worth it? What else do I have to deal with you? Okay, good. So he's just like a stronger enemy type. I can deal with that. We can work with this. So, man, that's, that's a conversation that's not really going anywhere. I mean, unless we want to get into, like, a weird introspective place, because yeah, everybody loves it when I do that. My, the thing that I'm, all right, let's do it. I would love someone to try to buy me. Like, I, I want to know if my opinion can be bought. Um, because I like many, many, many other people in the video game uh, community are adamant, saying like, no, these websites are, you know, you know, the corruption is rampant, but I'm not corrupt, no one could ever buy me, and that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit with a side order of fries. I mean, of course, I would love 
to say that. Uh, but I absolutely do not know. Oh, this... Are you just going to keep following me? I'm kind of running out of sh places to go. Okay, good. So... It's like... I guess that's... That's more of a question of morality than anything. Everyone can talk a big game, myself included, but unless they're, you know, put into that situation... Oh, hell yeah. Um... Oh, God, I wish I had something that would set him on fire. That would have been super excellent. I've got nothing. Fire! Just set him on fire! Yes! Okay. Okay. Oh, God! Congratulations, everyone who was watching. You just got to see me panic. Was it worth it? <laughs> was it worth it whatever time it is? 7.55 in the morning? Jesus. I have the absolute worst schedule. Actually, no. In order to say that I have the worst schedule, I would have had to have had a schedule. I was planning on doing this, uh, this episode at any point during the day. Uh, but it took me the entire night to do it. All right. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, <laughs> I don't want to say, like, I have the fantasy of, but, like, every so often I think, like, what it would be like. Um, and this just goes to show how, like, how out of touch I am with the whole video game journalism kind of thing, despite the fact that I'm, well, with whatever I'm doing here, slowly eking my way into it, despite the fact that I'm trying to distance myself from it at the same time. Um, I want someone to, like, come to my house and fly me at a Learjet to an unspecified location, where, uh, like, I get in front of this, they plot me in front of this, like, Don Corleone character, in a, no, I'm... I'm talking. You're gonna be on fire now. With like a suitcase full of money in front of me, and he just like plops it down, opens it up, on, so I can see all the consecutive bills, and he just goes, Unity was a good game. <laughs> and just like pushes it closer to me. Uh, that's when we'll fucking see if Austin can be bought. But until then. I'm full of shit, and so is everyone else. But then again, I suppose user reviews aren't really that respectable either. And I suppose that's... actually, that's what I am. I'm still... what I'm doing right now is just like an elaborate Metacritic user review. <laughs> um... And I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of those either. Well, there are people there that, oh god, here's the douchebag coming out, that are like me, who, you know, try to look at things objectively, but all in all will eventually have to make up their mind about a video game. But then there are also people, um, and I say this unapologetically, anyone who doesn't like something and then automatically gives it a 0 out of 100 is an unredeemable asshole. Oh god, I just don't... I just don't want to have to fight a boss right now. I'm not in the right frame of mind. I'm not feeling very determined. Like, I know I want to finish the- Oh, God. Speak of the devil. I'm just gonna go, okay? <sighs> Alright, no, that is obviously not an option. So, what do we do? He has so many ways to- Oh, I have to get through here. Okay. So many way, like so many portals to get. Oh shit! To get through. No, all right. Just. Oh. Am I, is that an instant kill thing? Yeah. Of it is. All right. Oh. 
I don't know, when... The more I play this game, and the more... Is it fun? It's fun, right? Yeah, the game is fun. That is undeniable. But it's fun in a very... I, oh god, I was saying this before. It's... It's not as people were saying on, uh... You know, all of the... What would you call it? Um, press releases, or like... Advertisements for the game, that it's somehow this shining return to form for the survival horror genre. That it most certainly is not. Um... But then again... I played a game that was a, you know... A shining return to form for the survival horror genre. It was, a uh, it was, uh, Alien Isolation. It's the game that I played... Okay. That's okay. not what... Good. <laughs> this is gonna go well. Um, it was awesome. I enjoyed it immensely. Sorry about this. Okay, what just happened there was my attempt to just, you know, bulldoze my way through this because I super don't want to have to deal with this right now. However, we're going to continue. So. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, in terms of, like, um, the whole building of tension, uh, fighting against unknown darkness, Alien Isolation has that shit to a T. A lot of people will probably tell you, um, if you have this conversation with them, that games like Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and, uh, and Outlast are, you know, the return to form, you know, the white, the sparkling white knight rad riding in on a stallion of terror, um, that, uh, that is the return to form for the survival horror genre, and, uh, while those games are very good, I don't know if I would say they are good in the sense that we want it to be. Can we maybe walk? Not get stuck? Alright. Oh, now it's fight or die. Okay. Um, Outlast, uh, Amnesia Art Descent, all of those kinds of games, at least to me, feel like kind of dead space. The monster closet. Oh, God. The things that pop out and say, boo. Um, well, I did like dead space. But I, it's not... It kind of... It doesn't get me in that place that Alien Isolation would. Um, although Amnesia Dark Descent, I did like a lot. Um... It's one of those very few games where gameplay um, is so crazy good um, that I can forgive just a completely unbelievable and kind of wonky story. Hmm. Let's build. Um, in much the same way that uh, a lot of games from Platinum Games are, like, uh, like your Bayonetta. I suppose in that same vein of games, uh, your Devil May Cries. I keep telling people to play Devil May Cry, but I'm not a huge fan of, like, ridiculous, um, you know, wonky stories like that. Boosh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Oh, wow! If you... If you come right out of the, uh... Out of the, uh... The weapon select screen and hit reload right from there, you actually stop and you can move. Oh, well, this is problematic. Did that not get him? I do not have the resources to, to fight a battle like this. Gah. 
All right, that'll have to do it. Let's go. Grease Lightning will be the Flash. Come on! I'm so sick of this! <laughs> oh, no! Why can't I move any farther? Do I have to go this way? Oh, this is unbearable. Ah. Oh. I admit I'm really not in the zone or in a right frame of mind to fight anything, you know, particularly uh, stressful at the moment, but Shinji Mikami really isn't doing me any favors by making uh, a level like this so frustrating and stressful immediately after um, a level which broke any faith that I had left over in this game. Okay. Any faith that I had remaining in this video game. Which is a shame, because I so wanted to love this game. I wanted it to be everything that Resident Evil 4 was. I wanted it... Oh, man. I wanted this shit to, like, scratch my balls and make me pancakes. I don't even have anything witty to say anymore. This is draining everything for me. Okay, so now that place up there is fog that I cannot get through. So, I suppose I. There's that break in the wall, I gotta take a hard right. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Ah, can't get to me now. Wow, I've got absolutely nothing going on for me right now. Let's rock. All right. Are you in there? Oh God, that's right. <laughs> I'm trying to rescue a friend of mine. <sighs> that's some more standard Call of Duty fare. When walking through a ruined building, it's durr, so things start to crumble and rumble, and something might fall on you, but it never does. Uh, pseudo perilous, you know, pseudo danger. It's, I suppose, akin to walking through a, uh. Ooh, what's this? Shit, I'll take it. It's akin to walk like a haunted house, I suppose. Oh man, we've come full circle. Mm, things pop out at you. You feel danger, but it never is danger. <laughs> All right, let's. No, no, not that way. No. Haven't you figured it out yet? Oh, he loves tormenting others. What do you mean That's we haven't figured it out? That no, people have been telling us that since the get-go. Lays out the bait, gets his victim all worked up. His unholy traps. When it was happening to me, I could see what was going on. I could see it, but I couldn't turn back. I had to know. I had to know the truth, and he knew it. Ah. Oh. Detective Castellanos. Lady. That would be me. Level with me. Am I going crazy? No, you're not going crazy. One would do well to consider who they trust. You... I know that's like the end-all, be-all, like, gruff detective you know, thrust into something he doesn't quite understand during a horror movie, at some point has to say, trust me. my god, am I going crazy, or, oh my god, am I losing it? Like, that's... But you have said it a record number of times during this game. Even after we know the answer. No, you're not losing it. We're trapped in some guy's head. We need to get out. 
You're not crazy. I mean, he's trying to make you crazy, but you, you're not crazy. This isn't your... Mm. Unless, of course, you are. Unless, of course, my original thesis was right, and you are, you know, a patient in the mental asylum to begin with. Perhaps I should have been upgrading damage. Well, on my head be it. Man, I've become super critical of this game in one episode. Like, the last episode was like the straw that broke the camel's back, and now I'm just shitting on this game whenever I can. Before... before... chapter 12, I would have said that's uncharacteristic of me, but now I suppose it's... it's what I do. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Settling Ruins, for opening this door for me. I'll we'll continue on the Call of Duty train. Stay. Is that a combat helmet? Oh god, thank god. It's not. I would have gone like, oh god. What are we gonna break out assault rifles? Stay frosty, Castellanos. What the hell is that? It's two explosive bolts strapped to some poor bastard. I'm going to choose to ignore it for now. Although I don't suppose I have the, uh... <laughs> I don't have the life to deal with something like that. I can't spare it. So... I'm sorry. Gonna have to explode you. Oh god! Everybody just comes out of the door all Scooby-Doo like, what was that? That was my... <laughs> that was my please don't content ID me version of the Yakety Sax. Remember when I said I couldn't spare my life? I was lying. I meant to do that. Don't... Don't bother checking. Give me something I can use. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this by any chance the way I'm supposed to go? Interesting. Oh, it can't be. Man, look at how I'm just breezing through this area. I'm I'm s absolutely confident that nothing will scare me. Even when it's completely pitch black. I'm confident that no matter what jumps out at me, it will not be enough to frighten me. Having that much confidence in yourself, I think, comes from having a game so action-oriented. Um, I experienced a lot of deaths early in the game because I was so convinced um, that there was some special thing I had to do or some way to finesse um, a boss to get him like weak enough for me to fight him or just escape from him in general, uh, much in the same way that uh, uh, Resident Evil 4 did it, like uh, in Joseph. trying to get me, uh, well, like me not trying to give a whole lot away. Um, there's a boss who's, um... Alright, well, I'm about to spoil a boss for Resident Evil 4. If you have not played that game, just close your ears for a second. Earmuffs! Um, there's a boss who's largely invisible. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering collect correctly, and you have to get him to, like, follow you, uh, into this area, and you can, like, knock over, like, uh, like, canisters of, like, CO2. And they like, then you can like see him in the fog. It's really cool. I may be getting a few things mixed up, but I'm pretty sure that was one of the. I may be mixing up two bosses. Yeah, it's a rat.
Well, that may have just saved my life. Let's rock. Alright, I'm gonna stop walking cinematically through the <laughs> through the kitchen. Cause god damn it. I've I've decided. I don't know what game I'm going to play after this, but I just want it to be over. <gasps> oh god, charcuterie! How scary. It's the, so the sausages. Oh yeah, good luck, man. Fuck you, Ruvik. Fuck you. A man can't admire some hanging sausages. Ooh, I just realized what I said. <laughs> what are these... Spinning death Roombas? What the hell is happening right now? And why can't I jump on the counter? Alright, I need... I think I need a moment. I'll just take that. Oh, perhaps Sebastian Castellanos all through of his his adolescence. Uh, uh, he's uh, I don't know, vaguely um, Hispanic. In that kind of like Japanese, everyone looks kind of Japanese but not kind of way. Oh, okay. Um, I think he may have had a very stern abuela, or abuela, that is just like, DON'T EVER RUN ON THE COUNTERS! So now, even when there's death room was going on, he- okay. He absolutely will not- The hell was that? He absolutely will not climb on the counter and just walk over them. I really hope I said that right. Abuela? I'm pretty sure that's right. I just did an entire episode about how I hate being accidentally offensive, and I really don't mean it. Oh, God! Oh, this is a nightmare situation. Gotta stock up on my juice. I really have no idea what's going on. Alright. Oh my. I have a, quite a few people watching, even this crazy early in the morning. I, uh... If anyone is leaving, uh... Anybody, if anyone is leaving, like, stuff in the chat, I'm sorry. My internet is not super incredible at the moment. So even if you are, I don't know if I would be able to read it. Man, they're throwing juice at me left and right. <sighs> Shinji, Shinji baby, I'm not really sure a couple of dead guys in a dimly lit hallway is quite as frightening anymore as you think it is. And I'm sorry. It's not your fault, it's our fault. We've moved on. You're just gonna... You're just gonna leave him for me? No, no, that's cool. I'm sure I won't miss a thousand times and accidentally hit a pig. That won't happen at all. Oh. Don't automatically slow me down when I'm going through the pigs. Don't you... Fucking dare! Oh, that was... That was a poor choice of everything on my part. I've seen Rocky. This isn't how one deals with hanging meat.
I don't even... Oh man, what is my strategy right now? Yeah, I've got nothing. Hmm. No, using the explo it's too cut the, the the quarters are too tight. Using explosives would that would just cripple me. I'm gonna have to use the magnum. I'm just gonna have to sprint for it and hope the dumbwaiter is still the way. Good! It's not. That's what I wanted to happen. What is my goal? Am I waiting for the dumbwaiter to come back down? In which case, using my magnum ammo right off the bat there was super a mistake. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to keep... Let's get jiggy with it. I think there are several people watching me right now who know exactly what to do and are just going, No! You son of a bitch! Oh, no. Hell no, it's open. Come on! I'll be a good boy from now on, just give it to me! Oh, yes. Okay. I know that was supposed to be like some big, like, final battle with the monster, but this really does kind of feel like padding the game. Fuck. To me. This is... To me, this is not fun. Am I supposed to be doing something? No, I can't turn my lamp on. Ah, oh, excellent. <laughs> Time for Austin's overused joke of the day. Second floor, lingerie. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sugar bombs. That is... That's a cereal from the Fallout... What would you call it? Games. I'd better find Kidman. Oh, that makes me happy. Somehow. Oh, that's right. This is a game published by Bethesda. Makers of such... Wonderful games as Rage and. <laughs> no, that's not fair. Sure. I, you know. I thought. Oh, it's them. Going to the park. You know, we kind of have bigger fish. Ah, fuck it. Uh, anyway, I found Rage, you know, as appealing as an anthrax enema, but. You know. I judge, uh, pub mm. I judge developers based on how many good games they have made. I give them a, uh, kind of a, um, and I don't, you know, I don't want to force this ideal onto anybody, but I think that that's a very good way to go about it. Uh, judge developers based on, like, their total tally of good games versus bad games. Um, so, like, sure, Rage was <laughs> really... Mm, not unacceptable, but definitely a disappointment, but stacked up against, like, a slew of incredible RPGs. They're really not... I really can't fault them for it. However, that being said, Bethesda was the publisher of that, and I believe id Software was the, um... Now, this is a radical change in pace. Leslie can go home. Can take the train all the way home. Let's pay attention to this. I know, Leslie. 
Not today. You'll... protect me? Yes. That's my job. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be... Aww. surprised. Oh my god, could it be the char the sole character in this game who has absolutely no other point but to be mysterious turns out to also be able to control the world? Stop. My god. What a swerve. You don't understand. You don't know what he'll become. I do. I've seen it. You don't understand what Rubik is what? after. So tell me. Oh my god, are we gonna have a Tarantino standoff? He's after Leslie. What, no shit. To finish his science project? Don't patronize me. I have orders. I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one he can. Uh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. That actually is, uh, that's actually what happens when you hold up a guitar too close to your amp. That's, uh, that's the exact feedback. Everyone, uh, everyone holds their ears and the world shatters. So, uh, wow. I'm sorry for being so critical of this game, but, uh, I'm gonna have to end it there. Um, I'm good that, uh, you know, we could just, you know, breeze through in... Oh god, that was almost an hour of game. Shit. <laughs> uh, well, at least we got through a chapter today. Wow, did I bitch about this game for an hour? That's crazy! I'm not a good person. Anyway, uh, for those of you who stayed through my bitching, uh, thank you. Um, for those of you who are uh, just starting to watch, you know, blah blah blah. You can watch all of our uh, games, or like, episodes of shit on our YouTube uh, page. Uh, anyway, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. You guys are the best.